Matthew here from MiniWarGaming.com, bringing you another Star Wars X-Wing unboxing video. Now, in the last one, I did the TIE Bomber, because it's a new one, so it only makes sense to do the Rebel side, and that is the B-Wing Expansion Pack. Now, another little quick thing I want to say is, I was a big fan of the TIE Fighter computer game that came out a long time ago. I think I played it on my 486, and that's like before Pentiums. So that's how old a game it was. And that game allowed me to learn a lot more about the individual fighters, because you see them in the movies, but you don't fully understand their functions necessarily. They just kind of look fancy. And maybe they didn't actually have different functions. Maybe in the movies they were just there to look pretty and to have variety. But in the computer game TIE Fighter, I got to learn all the different functions. So the B-Wing is kind of like the equivalent to the TIE Bomber for the Rebel side. So it's a hardy vehicle that goes slow, but delivers a big punch in terms of missiles and bombs. So we are going to unbox this expansion pack today to see what is inside. I've already taken the liberty of cutting out the back plastic. It's not like you need to see me do that. Just make sure that you're careful as you cut it out that you do not cut yourself. If you are young, a little kid, make sure you have an adult do it for you because we don't want any injuries here. So let's take a look at the B-Wing expansion pack. So of course we have the back of it, which everybody sees. We take that out and we throw it away. And then, just like the TIE Bomber one, if you saw that one, it comes with a baggie with everything that you need for the TIE Bomber, or for the B-Wing. So let's take a look at that first. So we open this up. I don't care about keeping these, so I just kind of rip open the sides. That way the thing comes out a little easier. And I just throw that away. And just like all the other ones, it comes with your pilot upgrade cards. So in this case, let's see what we got here. We have got a fire control system. So this one, after you perform an attack, you may acquire a target lock on the defender. So that's nice. And then we've got some uh, lasers. So it looks like the B-Wing, instead of having missiles, has the laser system. Since so we've got the ion cannon and the auto blaster. The ion cannon is awesome because when you hit somebody with the ion cannon, if this attack hits, the defender suffers one damage, only one damage, no matter how much you do, and receives one ion token, then cancel all dice results. And now ion tokens, as we find out when we pick up this card, which talks about ion tokens, really changes what they can do. For example, in the planning phase, the owner does not assign a maneuver dial to the ship. In the activation phase, they have to move it forward just one just the one forward, so they get slowed down that way. And then it can attack as normal, and it can perform actions as normal too. But it basically allows you to know exactly what it's going to do in its next movement phase. And of course, this is the card that expands on the rules, because they always do that. So you have all the rules there. And going back to the upgrade cards, of course we have advanced proton torpedoes. We've got the auto blaster, and uh, we've got proton torpedoes. So it's different in its functionality than a TIE Bomber, but similar in the fact that it's delivering a punch with a lot of different weapons. In this case, it has a specialized weapon of the Ion Cannon. All that is available in other ships as well. So pretty cool there. Also comes with all your pilot cards, and here we can see the stat of the actual B-Wing. So the stats here is it has three attack, which is really good, but only one defense, so it's very slow and easy to hit. But unlike the TIE Bomber, it has shields, five shields to be exact, and three hit points, whereas the TIE Bomber only has six hit points and zero shields. So this makes the B-Wing much more survivable, not just because it has more hit points in total, eight instead of six, but because the first five of those are shields, which means critical hits are just ignored until all the shields are gone. That's a big Big deal. I'd rather have one hit point and five shields than six hit points. Heck, even then seven hit points because of the effects that critical hits can have on you. So he definitely has the advantage there, but only one evade die, which means he'll be very easy to hit. He doesn't even have the option to evade in his actions, so that's really going to slow it down. So we have access to four different pilots, all right here on these cards. So let's put those right here. And then, of course, we have the tokens, just like we see in the starter set. So we have more, well, this one has more shield tokens because you need them. And it has target lock, it has the ion token. So this is the new ion token that you might see in other expansions, wherever they can have the ion cannon. 
And then everything else is just what you normally see, the stress. Let's look over here. We have the stress tokens, we've got the focus tokens, and of course the dial for it to use for its movement. So put that there and there, all pretty like. And then we'll put this B-wing right there. It's the center of attention. Then we go to the rest of it. There's the credit card or the credit insert, and we throw that away. Not that we don't care about who made it. If you're ever interested, just take a look at it. And then we pull out the piece de resistance, and that is the B-wing itself. So we pull this out here and throw that away and throw that away. And there is the lovely B-wing. And the wings, the attack foils do not move. So don't try to, otherwise they will break. Unless you want to like do some sort of cool conversion where you actually cut them yourself and make them so they can move. Because uh, all the ships, pretty much all the ships in the Rebel side except the A-wing, their wings can extend to attack position or just flight position. Because in space that makes a difference. You know, anyway, doesn't matter. Put that aside. And last but not least, we have the base. So here we have the base. I think I actually threw aside that plastic box and left yeah, I left one more thing in there, and that's the thing to make the, uh, the actual dial work. But I'll pick that up off the floor in a moment. And there is the pieces for the base. So let's put that right there. So there you have it. That is the B-Wing expansion pack for the Star Wars X-Wings miniature game. So go and check it out at your local gaming store, or go online to your favorite online store, and pick two up. Not just one. you got to pick up two, because you never just have one. You have to have two. This is Matthew from Mini Wargaming. Stay tuned for more Star Wars X-Wing unboxing videos and happy wargaming.